A strudel is a rolled pastry from Eastern Europe and there are so many different combinations. You probably know the apple variety, but I'm gonna do a custard and morello cherry variety. This is stunning because the morello cherries are a little bit sour and tart and that goes really nicely with the creamy custard. Now for the custard, 150 milliliters of milk into a pot and I'll also measure out 100 milliliters of thickened cream. Perfect. And that can go in, all into the pot. And to flavour this milk and cream mixture, I like the addition of a vanilla bean. You can use vanilla extract if you like, but if you can get your hands on vanilla beans, definitely use it. I love the little speckles that we're going to see throughout this custard once it's cooked. So scraping those seeds from the pod, and now I'll just whisk that very quickly just to separate those vanilla beans. Now for the eggs, one whole egg. I'll break that directly into a large bowl. And to give it a rich flavour, I'll add one yolk. So breaking the egg and separating that. And then the egg yolk can go in with a whole egg. Some sugar, a quarter of a cup of caster sugar. And then to make this a thick custard, I'm adding some corn flour. So start by whisking the eggs and the sugar to dissolve the caster sugar. And then add in the corn flour. Now we need the corn flour in this because it needs to be a thick custard. Because this is going to bake in the oven, we want that custard to hold its shape. Now once that's combined and there are no lumps, it's looking good, we can add our milk. So that's come to the boil. We'll turn it off and just let those bubbles subside. And then, constantly whisking, we'll add this cream and milk mixture. Now you do need to constantly whisk so we don't scramble those eggs. And it is a good idea to add that corn flour because it does stabilise the custard. Okay, now that that's combined, we're going to return this mixture into the pot and carefully pour that in. And I'll constantly stir this until it thickens up and becomes glossy. Once it's thick, I'm going to remove it from the heat, place it into a bowl and put a little bit of cling film over it so a skin doesn't form and then cool it completely in the fridge. Now the custard has come out of the fridge, it's firmed up nicely, so it's time to prepare the pastry. Now I like to use phyllo pastry for this because after cooking in the oven it goes really crispy and golden brown. It's really, really fantastic to use for a strudel recipe. And it's really easy to use. I take it out of the pack and just spread it out. And you really want to keep your phyllo pastry quite soft, so you do need to work with one piece at a time. So I'll take the first layer off and place it over here, give yourself plenty of room, and then cover the rest with a damp, clean tea towel. By doing this, it won't break up. And you do want it to be quite pliable because we are gonna roll it up. So working fast, I'm gonna brush this with some melted butter, and then I want eight layers to this before we start adding our filling. Now we need to mix the cold custard with the cherries and a few other flavourings. But because it's quite firm, it's just come out of the fridge, I just want to loosen it up a little bit. So all of that goes into a bowl. And then with a spoon, give it a mix, even just with the back of the spoon. And you can see how it just smooths out a little bit. The Morello cherries, you can get these in a jar in most of your supermarkets. Also, you can find them at delis. Give it a mix through that custard. And you'll see because those Morello cherries, which are also called sour cherries, are quite dark in colour, it'll start to stain that custard. Oh, I could just eat that, it's so yummy. For a few more flavourings, a pinch of cinnamon, the zest of half a lemon, and then I like the addition of lemon juice too, so just a little squeeze of lemon juice, catch those seeds in your hands. And then a small handful of sultanas. You could also use raisins for this. I know a lot of people out there don't like sultanas in their strudel, so you can leave them out if you don't like them. And then another little mix, and now we're ready to assemble. Now we need to place our phyllo pastry horizontally, so just carefully lift that and turn it around. And we want to leave a border so we can wrap this. So add a good amount of the mixture just on the bottom 
third of the pastry and we'll just work across the pastry making a long sausage from that Morello cherry custard. Okay, I think that's plenty. Don't overfill it too because it will burst at the seams. A little bit more butter around the edges just so it can act as the glue. And now we can wrap. Now I bring in the sides first and the second side and then we just roll it into a cylinder, tucking in all that pastry and then we want the seam on the bottom. Now a little bit more butter over the top so it goes golden brown and crispy. I'll just roll it on the other side on the seam side just to again glue that down. And for some extra crunch because it looks fantastic, some almonds, just some slivered almonds, will sprinkle over the top and it will stick to the butter. Great! That goes onto a lined tray with baking paper. We'll lift that and pop that on the tray. And now this goes into the oven. The oven is set at 180 degrees and this is going to cook for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it. We're looking for that golden brown finish and of course has to be very crunchy. Now the strudel has come out of the oven, I've allowed it to cool a little bit. I love how those slivered almonds have become really golden brown. Now I'm just going to carefully take it off the tray and we'll place it on the chopping board. And I want to cut this straight down the centre so you can see that delicious cherry custard. Oh, listen to that pastry. And see how fabulous that looks. Now I'm going to cut a generous portion because I'm a bit of a greedy guts. <laughs> I'm going to cut it about five centimetres thick. And then this is perfect as is served warm or you can take it to the next level with a little bit of cream. This is just some dollop cream. I'll add that to the side. And then we'll add a nice generous portion of that strudel and when you get Morello cherries, they'll be in a syrup. And this is the syrup that's left over. I place this in a pot and just let it reduce for about 10 minutes and it becomes really thick and syrupy. This is just a nice addition. If you're going to present it for a dinner party, drizzle that over the top. Wow, that is a delightful strudel. I should check it just to make sure that it tastes as good as I'm saying it is. Fork and spoon, I'll just cut that little bit at the end. Mm, that is such a stunning dessert and it's done quick and easily using some phyllo pastry. Mm.